A patient has had a mastectomy on the left side. Which site should a phlebotomist avoid for venipuncture? A. Right antecubital fossa. B. Left antecubital fossa. C. Right hand. D. Left dorsal hand. Answer, B. Blood should not be drawn from the same side as a mastectomy due to compromised lymphatic drainage and infection risk. A lavender top tube has clotted. Which of the following was the most likely error? A. Tube was underfilled. B. Tube was inverted too many times. C. Tube was not inverted adequately. D. Tube was shaken vigorously. Answer, C. Lavender top tubes contain EDTA, which requires proper mixing by gentle inversion 8 to 10 times. Failure to invert leads to clotting. Which gauge needle is most appropriate for collecting blood cultures in adults? A. 16 gauge. B. 18 gauge. C. 21 gauge. D. 25 gauge. Answer, C. A 21 gauge needle provides adequate lumen size for blood culture collection while minimizing hemolysis risk. Which anticoagulant inhibits thrombin directly? A. Heparin. B. EDTA. C. Sodium citrate. D. Oxalate. Answer, A. Heparin prevents clot formation by inhibiting thrombin and factor XA, allowing plasma collection for chemistry tests. A specimen for ammonia testing must be transported. A. At room temperature. B. In a warm water bath. C. In crushed ice. D. Protected from light. Answer, C. Ammonia is unstable and requires immediate chilling in crushed ice to prevent false elevation. Which additive is present in a royal blue tube with a red stripe? A. EDTA. B. Sodium heparin. C. No additive. D. Sodium citrate. Answer, C. Royal blue tubes with a red stripe contain no additive and are used for trace element testing. Which department would process a tube collected for fibrinogen? A. Hematology. B. Chemistry. C. Coagulation. D. Microbiology. Answer, C. Fibrinogen is part of the coagulation cascade, so it is tested in the coagulation department. What is the minimum time a tourniquet should be released before reapplying to the same arm? A. 10 seconds. B. 30 seconds. C. 1 minute. D. 5 minutes. Answer, C. To prevent hemoconcentration and vein collapse, at least one minute should pass before reapplying a tourniquet. When collecting a blood alcohol level, which antiseptic is appropriate? A. Iodine. B. Alcohol swab. C. Soap and water. D. Betadine only. Answer, A. Iodine is preferred because alcohol-based antiseptics can interfere with blood alcohol testing. If blood cultures are ordered with other tests, which should be collected first? A. Light blue. B. Blood culture bottles. C. Lavender. D. Red. Answer, B. Blood cultures are always collected first to avoid contamination with additives. Which vein is most likely to roll during venipuncture? A. Median cubital. B. Cephalic. C. Basilic. D. Radial. Answer, B. The cephalic vein is more mobile and prone to rolling compared to the median cubital. Which complication occurs if a tourniquet is tied too tightly? A. Hemoconcentration. B. Venous collapse. C. Nerve injury. D. All of the above. Answer, D. Excessive pressure can cause hemoconcentration, collapse, or nerve damage. Which tube is used for a respiratory count? A. Lavender. B. Light blue. C. Red. D. Green. Answer, A. Respiratory counts require whole blood in EDTA tubes. 
Which action prevents hemolysis during venipuncture? A. Using a 25-gauge needle. B. Drawing blood quickly into the syringe. C. Allowing alcohol to dry completely. D. Shaking the tube vigorously. Answer, C. Inserting the needle through wet alcohol may cause hemolysis and stinging. Which test requires chilling immediately after collection? A. Bilirubin. B. Cold agglutinin. C. Ammonia. D. Glucose. Answer, C. Ammonia specimens must be placed on ice immediately. A patient on IV therapy must have blood drawn. Where is the best site? A. Above the foresight. B. Below the foresight. C. Opposite arm. D. Same vein as four-line. Answer, C. To prevent contamination with four fluids, the opposite arm should be used. Which of the following requires protection from light? A. Ammonia. B. Bilirubin. C. Cold agglutinin. D. Point slash INR. Answer, B. Bilirubin is light-sensitive and must be protected to prevent breakdown. A patient complains of severe pain and tingling during venipuncture. What should the phlebotomist do? A. Continue and finish quickly. B. Withdraw needle immediately. C. Redirect needle. D. Ask patient to relax. Answer, B. Pain and tingling may indicate nerve contact requiring immediate withdrawal. Which tube should be used for electrolyte testing? A. Green. B. Lavender. C. Blue. D. Gray. Answer, A. Green tubes contain heparin, preventing clotting and preserving plasma electrolytes. What is the maximum angle of insertion for venipuncture? A. 15 degrees. B. 30 degrees. C. 45 degrees. D. 60 degrees. Answer, B. The recommended angle is 15 to 30 degrees, with 30 degrees being the maximum. The additive sodium fluoride preserves which analyte? A. Calcium. B. Glucose. C. Potassium. D. Hemoglobin. Answer, B. Sodium fluoride prevents glycolysis, preserving glucose levels. Which is a preanalytical error? A. Hemolysis from shaking tubes. B. Incorrect patient ID. C. Underfilled tube. D. All of the above. Answer, D. All listed options are preanalytical errors affecting specimen quality. Which specimen requires a chain of custody form? A. CBC. B. Blood alcohol. C. Electrolytes. D. Bilirubin. Answer, B. Legal specimens like blood alcohol and drug screens require chain of custody. A phlebotomist draws blood without consent. This could be considered. A. Assault. B. Battery. C. Negligence. D. Malpractice. Answer, B. Performing a procedure without consent is battery. Which vein is located near the brachial artery and should be used with caution? A. Cephalic. B. Basilic. C. Median cubital. D. Accessory cephalic. Answer, B. The basilic vein lies close to the brachial artery and median nerve, making it risky. Which of the following specimens must be collected without stasis? A. Lactate. B. Glucose. C. Bilirubin. D. CBC. Answer, A. Lactate levels are falsely increased with tourniquet application, draw without stasis. Which of the following must be included on a specimen label? A. Patient initials only. B. Patient room number. C. Date of collection, time, and collector ID. D. Phlebotomist's initials only. Answer, C. Proper labeling requires date, time, and collector identification. 
Which tube is required for an erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR? A. Green. B. Blue. C. Lavender. D. Red. Answer, C. ESR requires whole blood in EDTA tubes. What is the primary purpose of the order of draw? A. To prevent tube breakage. B. To ensure fast collection. C. To avoid cross-contamination of additives. D. To reduce clotting time. Answer, C. Following the correct order prevents additive carryover affecting test results. Which test requires the patient to fast for 8 to 12 hours before collection? A. CBC. B. Fasting glucose. C. INR. D. Cold agglutinin. Answer, B. Fasting is required to obtain accurate glucose levels.